Yeah, I'm thrilled. Like, um, didn't think about leaving the Crows, and when they offered a contract, I couldn't be uh, more happy to stay at the club. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed my past three years, and um, yeah, to extend for another two years, it's um, really exciting for me. Must be proud of your progression. Yeah, well, I, you know, I didn't think three years ago when I was a tradie that I would uh, be playing AFL footy and uh, being on a list for, you know, going to be, going to be five years now. So. Um, yeah, I'm really happy, and you know, to move away from Victoria and that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's yeah, it's been a change in my life, but I think uh, yeah, it's been really good. Haven't been able to do it, do you think? Um, oh, I think I've had a lot of great support around me. My family um, always come over and visit me. Uh, my girlfriend Emily uh, has been great support. Moving in with Richard Douglas when I first came over, he was outstanding. You know, being a Victorian boy, he knew what it was like to come over. Um, but then, you know, my coaches. Like, Darren Milburn's been unbelievable for me um, and then the support that Truck and Daniel Taylor have given me and uh, mentored me over the first few years has been, you know, really good and uh, probably couldn't have done it without them. And what's next? Where do you see your um, career developing over the next couple of years? Uh, hopefully I can, um, you know, cement my, you know, I've, I got dropped this year early on so um, hopefully have a, you know, cement my spot, um, yeah, over the next few years and, um, you know, be a regular in the team that's what I think um, everyone you know strives for, and you know, and then you start looking at you know. I think we've got a pretty young, exciting backline um, with the blokes coming through, like Jakey Lever and um, Tails and Lady and these guys, Brody Smith and that. So um, yeah, hopefully there's some team success that we can build towards as a group. Yeah, Jack Darling a text message saying cheers. Goals one day, and new next. No, I think I got a bit lucky um, uh, a couple of times, you know, but um, that was good. When there's pressure up the field, you know, the midfielders putting on pressure and the forwards putting on pressure. It's a whole team defence that have been playing this year. And, um, you know, Brody Smith coming across and helping me third man. And um, Rory Laird's having an outstanding season, um, you know, coming across and helping me out. And uh, i just got to make sure I don't, you know, let Jack Darling or whoever it is cannonball into them and so I sort of try and protect them a bit. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, Jack had a um, bit of a chat after the game. Um, we, we've known each other for a while back in um, our younger days. We were in the AOS together, so he's a great fella, and you know he's a really good player. So um, I was I was wrapped that I could do do my play my part for the team and uh, hold him to no goals. What does that do for you then going forward? When you look at finals coming up, and you keep a player like that to minimal impact, then I mean, it must be huge for you on a huge stage. Yeah, well that's it. Like we played in front of another great crowd. The support's been awesome at Adelaide Oval this year, and. Um, it just builds confidence, you know. Every player that you play on, you know, it's um, that you beat. It, it builds confidence, and I think um, the the more I can do that, then um, the more consistent I'll become, um, and yeah, the more confident I'll become to you know drop off and take more marks and build my game that sort of way. Yeah, leaning on um, Dash for a bit going into this game against the Cats. And you didn't give some good advice. Uh, we haven't really, I haven't really spoken to him that much yet. We're sort of um, doing our review such so early on the week, but I'm sure yeah, this afternoon and tomorrow we'll turn to, we'll turn to Geelong and um, yeah, have a chat about their their players. But you know, blokes like Daniel Menzel, he's been out for four years, but he came back with a re really good game um, on the weekend. And Stevie J and those sort of blokes are really lively, so it's going to be um, another tough test. And going into finals, we need to back up what we did on the weekend. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, they're a great side and they've been well, a part of finals now for, you know, the last 10 years or something and they missed out this year. But um, I, I know that they'll want to send off their great players and if, if they end up retiring. So, um, you know, they'll lift and it's always a tough place to play. So, um, yeah, we'll have to be at our best on, uh, on Saturday. Carl, what's been spoken about the forward line you guys have got and how potent you are, but how important is it, you know, to stand up in defence and compliment that, I suppose, given yeah, well, that, like we need to stand up, and you know, it's lots, lots being said about how young we are and um, that. But you know, the more the more games we play together and the developing um, of you know the the group within sort of a team within a team, um, we're only going to get better. And uh, the, when you play on blokes like Kennedy and Darling and that sort of thing, 
and you and you come out and you win, then that's you know that's a confidence builder and. Um, yeah, you go into the next week with um, plenty of confidence, and but you know, like I said before, it's a team defense, and that's something we've been really strong on this week. You know, the midfielders, the forwards, putting on a lot of pressure, and um, that helps it, uh, us out enormously. And I think um, Paddy spoke about it on radio this morning, but are you confident the boys won't let their side show that John Advertise is doing a big campaign about danger? Are you confident that won't be a distraction for you? Yeah, I'm I'm 100 confident that won't that won't be a distraction. You know, we've got finals footy that we're gonna worried about um, but this week we'll we'll just get down there we'll um, you know hopefully back up what we did on the weekend and um, put in a strong performance and um, yeah we'll see what we can do. Last couple of guys, does it surprise you the lengths that the long town seem to go to the one? Uh, I'm, I'm, what, I don't know what you're talking about oh, there mate. yeah so. Uh, don't read the paper so I, I can't read too much into it like I said at the moment we're just worrying about um, yeah putting in a strong performance. You mentioned three years ago, Kyle, as a trade, you wouldn't imagine you'd be here. What would you be doing if, you, if that sliding doors moment hadn't happened? What would you be doing this time on a random Tuesday? Uh, well, yeah, 11.30, I'd probably maybe smoke so I'd probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably having a nice coffee or something like that, a pie, and um, yeah, yeah, so I, I couldn't tell you, crawling through a roof with rats or something like that, so um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I feel very fortunate about um, every game that I play and um, the longer I can stay on the list I'll be grateful so, so I don't have to crawl under any floors or anything like that again, so yeah. Does it help yeah. you be grounded? I mean you've come from that background, a lot of kids come straight in through the draft system and that sort of thing, high school straight into footy, does it in a way like you've experienced that other side, does it sort of help you as a bloke? Yeah, I think um, when I first got here, you know, it really drew, it drove me really hard to, you know, actually uh, make it a success. And being a rookie, you know, you only got that one year, so you got to leave no stone unturned. You got to have a crack at everything. And um, yeah, I sort of knew what the outside world was, what it was like to, um, you know, work um, a job and go to footy training and play on the weekend against. Um, full-time footballers and um, that was really hard so I, I just wanted to take the opportunity with both hands and um, yeah I think I've done that so far. It's hard at crawling through roots or training eight hours a day? Um, I don't know, uh, pre-season is definitely a lot tougher AFL system than, um, than when you're playing VFL but you know I, I wouldn't trade this in for the world, I wouldn't trade it in to be go back and be a sparky any day of the week.